It's a billionaire boxing, and I'm back with another one. Jesus Ramos versus Erickson Lubin was controversial enough to where they need to have a run back. Um, when they showed the Showtime graphic after the fight, who they thought won, 70% of the boxing fans felt like Erickson, Erickson Lubin lost that fight. They felt like the fight should have been awarded to Jesus Ramos. My only issue is this. There was controversy in the, in the, in the decision, but the commentary was very skewed. I mean... Farhood had it 9-3 for Ramos, which I thought was wide for Ramos. I still had Ramos winning. But when I heard 9-3, um, 8-4, when I first was hearing the announcement, I thought they were going to give it to Ramos. So when I heard 9-3 Lubin, there's not nine rounds in that fight you can give to Erickson Lubin. I don't care if you like pure boxing. I don't care if you like um, the the ring generalship. There's no, round, there's no fight where you can give Lubin 75% of the rounds. Because nine out of twelve is seventy five percent. That's that's a that's a huge huge number. The best I could see is seven five six six for Lubin. That's the best case scenario. But that's not how I scored it. I had an eight four seven five Ramos. But I could at the worst I could see a draw. I could see a draw for Lubin. You know, and Ramos and they and, and they both um, neither one of them takes an L and they run it right back. But right now they need to run it right back. It needs to be an immediate rematch. And I feel. I feel that, you know, people are saying, oh, man, y'all are tripping, man, Lubin. Nah, man, I, you know, I respectfully, I respectfully disagree. And that's not to disrespect anybody's scorecard, but don't disrespect mine. Um, don't tell me that I don't know what I'm looking at because you scored it a different way, you know. But at the same time, I'll tell you what, the majority of the people, majority of fight fans and majority of people um, that watched that fight thought Jesus Ramos won that fight. Nobody thought Ramos lost nine rounds. Uh, did he take his foot off the gas and should he have closed the fight better? Yes, absolutely. 11 and 12, he gave those two to Lubin. I had it I had it 7-3 uh, up until that point, and then he gave it to Lubin. He gave the last two, so I had him 7-5. So, yeah, it was clear. To me, it was a clear decision, but ain't no way he lost 9-3. At the best, you can give Lubin a draw. I mean, I'm, I'm being generous. You know, I watched it unbiased, too. I had We had the volume down. So I when I rewatched it, I heard the commentary. But when we first watched it, um, when I watched it on live, I didn't have we didn't have the volume up, so nobody was listening. I just disagreed with Farhood's scorecard at, at you know at, at the time. And that was what we were watching, Farhood's scorecard. But I, nobody in there was scoring it like Farhood. But it's billionaire boxing, and I'm back with another run that run that thing back.